everybody, welcome in. We are live today. Look at all these people jumping in. Hey Roz, hey Gary, hey everybody. Uh, this is Leslie with GoTo Kitchens and today we are gonna be talking about kombucha. How many of you out there drink kombucha? Tell me. <laughs> That's right, it's the new wine. That's what I like to call it. Hey Roz, nope, don't drink it. Hi, hi Evan. Hi everybody, I'll show you myself in just a second. So right now I am live at the Natural Grocers in Fort Collins, Colorado. And I have to tell you guys, if you have a Natural Grocers near you, you absolutely need to check it out because it is, <laughs> oh Roz, I'm gonna change your mind today actually. Uh, don't know what it is, okay. You like to make your own, that's awesome. Um, so we are going to, I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks today. We're going to talk about how to buy it, what to buy, uh, and how to fall in love with it. Because once you start drinking it, you will be addicted. I promise you. It's just like any other kind of drink like soda. Uh, <laughs> that's right, Evan. It is so good. So, um, so yeah, so I'm in Natural Grocers. They've allowed me to come here and stand in front of their uh, kombucha case, which you can Body see is a nice, nice, nice variety of kombucha here in this particular store. This is where I buy mine. I am a daily kombucha drinker, so I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see me. Hey, everybody. Okay, so I am a daily kombucha drinker. I drink, um, I drink kombucha every single day, but this is a new thing for me. This is not something that I just started like two years ago and decided to, um, hey, if you want something out of the case, you should come get it. <laughs> yeah, don't let me be in your way. I can move very easily, so. Um, <laughs> you can't do the heavily fermented ones. Yeah, so um, I'd like to tell you guys a little bit about what kombucha is even because for some of us It's a complete mystery about uh, About what even kombucha is and so of course as you know, I always have my notes So basically kombucha is a black tea that has sugar added and it has a scoby in it Does anybody know what a scoby is? If you know what a SCOBY is, type it in right here. I wanna hear if any, of it, if any of you know what it is, and if you don't, I'll tell you what it is, but I wanna see if anybody types it in. So it's fermented with a SCOBY, and um, that creates the good bacteria that your body needs to replace the um, bad bacteria that we get through processed foods, that we get through sugary things and salty things through prepackaged foods. So we have ruined Thank you, all right, you guys, blob of bacteria. That's right, that's a great explanation, so. Yay, way to go. Hey Trish, is that you? No, that's Hayden, hi Hayden. Hayden, you need a picture. You need to get rid of your Twitter egg and get yourself a picture. Um, <laughs> so, so yes, and that's okay. You looking for kombucha? No. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're live here, so we're gonna have to move out of the way when people actually want to buy kombucha today, so. Um, so yes, that's exactly what it is. It is a sim, I have a hard time saying this, so yes, you do need to get rid of your Twitter egg. Um, uh, I'm going, I have a complete blank all of a sudden. Uh, symbiotic uh, colony of bacteria and yeast is what it stands for. So a SCOBY looks like a pancake. It's kind of yellow, it's kind of rubbery. It kind of looks like an alien. Uh, <laughs> So, not an infomercial bras. I'm, t I'm teaching you about kombucha. I'm not promoting any single kombucha. Uh, I am live at Natural Grocers in Fort Collins, Colorado, and they've allowed me to come in here and talk about kombucha. I got this harebrained idea yesterday, and they're like, yeah, come do it. So, uh, <laughs> so yes, that's what, that's what kombucha is. So, it's a black tea that has been fermented with a bacteria and yeast um, that gives you the helpful benefits of probiotics. So some of you may be asking, why in the world do I need to drink kombucha? You know, what are the benefits? I'm gonna move back just a little bit so you guys can really see the whole case here. Um, why in the world do I need to drink kombucha? You need to be eating fermented foods. Yep, kombucha. Um, you need to be eating some type of fermented foods or taking a probiotic because here's what happens. Fort Collins is gorgeous. We love it here. We love living here. Here's what happens is that Throughout your life, you have taken an antibiotic, chances are, or you're taking medications right now. Um, and 
your, you guys' questions are flying by, so I'm sorry if I'm missing them, but I do want to stay on topic here because I have a limited amount of time that they've given me. So, so throughout your life, you have basically destroyed your gut bacteria. So what you need to do is you need to find ways to replace it. And so if you've ever taken an antibiotic, if you've ever, if you take prescription meds right now, um, then you are, you, you might be suffering from symptoms of gut health, uh, bad gut health, which would be, um, you know, diarrhea or constipation, the opposite of that, or IBS or Crohn's or colitis or uh, maybe your immune system isn't functioning very well. So that is why we need to get probiotics in our lives. Now the benefit of drinking kombucha is that it is super yummy. <laughs> it is so good and it's good for you. It's like a huge cheat. So here's some things that some specific things to kombucha, but just some things about probiotics that can help you with. Number one, you know I love to talk about cancer because I'm a breast cancer survivor, and so you know that I love to talk about cancer. And so number one, it has huge anti-cancer fighting properties in it. If you are suffering or you know somebody who is suffering, this company right here that makes the Synergy drink, the reason that they started the Synergy company or started this kombucha company is because his mother was suffering from breast cancer, a very aggressive form of breast cancer. Um, it is not necessarily safe for raws um, if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you should not be fermenting kombucha. You should go and buy it. Um, so, but this company was started because his mom was diagnosed with, in 1995 with a very aggressive form of breast cancer. They looked at her a year later. Her name is Lorraine, by the way. They looked at her a year later, and you can read this on their website. Um, and they said, you know, what's going on? You're so healthy. I mean, you should. This cancer should be all over your body by now. And and she said, well, I drink kombucha every day. <laughs> and so they wouldn't say that yes, um, that that's what caused it, but you know, that what helped her. But they did say there's, and they have all, I think they have 15 different flavors that particular company does, Synergy does. Um, but they wouldn't say that, yeah, that's what's keeping the breast cancer away. But I guarantee you because of the anti-inflammatory properties and probiotics, that is a huge testament to that. So. There's one thing. They're active low pro, uh, excuse me, active live probiotics in these. So let's take a look. Can you see at the bottom? See that at the bottom of this jar? That's the most clear one that I could see. You can see that right there. That is actually the active probiotic bacteria that you need to be consuming. So they have active live probiotics. It is great for your immune system. It is awesome for your digestive system because what happens is, is that it allows the food that you're eating. So let's say you're having dinner and you have a kombucha, right? Um, then that allows the food that you're digesting, digesting to even be more available, the nutrients to be even more available from your gut to the rest of your body. It is so, it's, it's just like simple biology basically. Um, the other things that it is, is that it, it has anti-inflammatory properties, which is great for the cancer, um, but it is also awesome for um, just regular cold and flu season. So let's say every year, every year you get a cold. Why do I get it? Welcome. Thanks for coming in. Why every year do I get a stinking cold? <laughs> you love shopping. Yep. <laughs> for anything, right? <laughs> um, but why do I get a cold every year? It's not necessarily like for me, I hardly ever get colds, but it is an immune response in your body. And so kombucha actually helps if you're drinking it during cold and flu season, it will actually help your inflammatory system calm down a little bit. So your low, your inflammatory markers are actually lower and can help you with common things like cold and flu. Now you still may get a cold, but you're not going to get it full on crazy cold flu. So, or you may not get it at all. I mean, I hardly ever get a cold or flu and I get exposed to it a lot because I move around the country a lot and I travel a lot and so I am constantly exposed to it and I never ever get it. I don't even have to knock on wood because I know my body and I know that it's healthy enough to do that. Part of that is the regimen that I that I do with drinking kombucha. So I recommend that you're getting some 
some type of uh, probiotic food a day and some t sort of fermented food. So that would be like a kimchi or a sauerkraut or kombucha or kefir. Yogurt, you know, it's full of sugar and I don't really, I mean, I don't, unless you're eating raw yogurt, which is not very yummy, maybe with some fresh fruit and granola, it's okay, okay, but you should be getting some sort of probiotic food every single day or taking a live probiotic um, supplement. So when I'm traveling, <laughs> that's hilarious, Evan. <laughs> you get the poo hearts. That's right. Now, those are chocolate hearts. Um, so when I'm traveling, I actually take a probiotic supplement. When I'm at home and have the availability of my kombucha and my fermented foods, then I don't worry about taking a probiotic supplement. I actually just have my kombucha and I have my uh, have my probiotic. So, uh, excuse me, and my, and my fermented foods, so like cabbage. But now, I was a probiotic queen. I took supplements. Get, how many do you want me to take? I'll take them all <laughs> because I was really, I, I suffered with constipation my entire life and they have, they have changed the way I think about that now. So, um, okay. So what else does it do? So it can, oh, here's a big one. This one I didn't know. I actually learned this as I was researching for this particular uh, scope. So I learned today that you could actually, if, you, if you're a woman and you suffer from, um, you're fine. No, get, so get what sorry. you need. No, you're okay, fine. Thank you. <laughs> get what you need. Um, so if you, are, if you suffer from UTIs or yeast infection, this actually can help balance your pH in your body and, and help you rid yourself of those without antibiotics without all the horrible things that you put in your body to try to fight to those types of infections so I just learned that just and I used to suffer from UTIs I don't anymore but it is it is a great product for that I read review after review after review of women who actually have healed chronic UTIs from taking uh, uh, drinking kombucha every single day just saying I'm not I haven't tried it myself but I'm just saying it works really good apparently um, I don't think so. What is, do you see it, Evan? I haven't seen that brand here, but I haven't drank, I haven't drank all of these, so I'm not, I can't be a hundred percent sure, so. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it's good for your cholesterol. It's good for your heart. Most healthy foods are, just so you know. Um, you can relieve your allergies. Uh, if you're having food allergies, if you're having seasonal allergies, it should always be refrigerated and that's in my tips and tricks so and I'll tell you my favorite at the end of the scope so because I do have a favorite <laughs> um, but it is it is absolutely great uh, for your microflora which I call your ecosystem it is great to balance your ecosystem so Typically, when we have food allergies, you have a problem. Hey, Trish, um, when you have a problem with allergies, it's because your ecosystem is out of balance, and this actually helps get that back into balance. All of your health stems from your gut. So if your gut is not in good shape, and I'm not talking about like a beer belly or whatever, I'm talking about your insides. If it is not in good shape, then chances are there's some other thing wrong with you. Either you, ha you have some other symptoms wrong with you. So getting that gut in check typically sometimes will help all these other things that you're dealing with if you have autoimmune if you have cancer if you have digestion issues uh, if you have hair loss if you have bad fingernails if you have bad skin once you get that gut in check and it starts to heal then uh, everything else starts to line up it's a process it is not an event you can't drink one bottle of kombucha and expect that your life is going to change although it does put you on a path to better health and it will change that but <laughs> but it doesn't happen over night so just so you know most people report big changes in about a couple of weeks from drinking a kombucha a day so and that's like a whole bottle of whatever which whichever one that you choose you can see they're all pretty much the same size in here so um, so it can relieve allergies um, if you are taking an antibiotic so let's I have a great example of this I had a tooth infection and I had to take an antibiotic I was ticked off I did not want to take it but I had to take it so instead of uh, instead of reeling about it the whole time I was taking it I ramped up my probiotics so that my gut health so that antibiotic is anti-life basically so it kills off all the good bacteria along with all the bad things that you're trying to kill um, let's see that's right. Thank you. Absolutely. Evan's spot on right there. Um, so if, um, so it, it's actually, um, what was I saying? 
Oh, I know what I'm saying. Um, so if you've taken an antibiotic, which means anti-life, you're killing off all the good bacteria and all the bad bacteria that is in your gut. So you need to replace that good bacteria. Kombucha will help you do that. If you've ever even taken an antibiotic, it is good to help you replace those good bacteria in your gut. So, um, so here's my here's the things that I love about it. The things that I love about it is that it is 60 to 70 calories per bottle. You can drink a whole bottle of this, and it's 60 to 70 calories. That is nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> I mean, you know, an apple has that much in it. I mean, you can't even touch a soda. Most drinks that are flavored, you can't even touch them for that few calories that have a great flavor and a great taste. You can't even touch it. So that's one of my favorite things about it. Um, it is dairy free, of course. Um, I would try to stick with the organic organic brands. Here's another thing that I really like about it is that for me it's an it's an appetite suppressant. So when I get like the gnawy, like I'm kind of hungry, I want something, if I drink a kombucha that will typically put me uh, in a space that I'm not like freaking out having to eat. Uh, now I will have to eat eventually of course, but <laughs> but it does help suppress that hunger feeling that I have. Sometimes uh, if I'm doing like little mini fasts, it is like a snack for sure. Um, if I'm doing like a little mini fast, like I'm skipping a couple of meals uh, in a day, uh, typically I will skip breakfast and eat lunch and skip dinner and then not eat again until lunch the next day. So I put my body through these little, uh, these little pieces of um, fasting and I, when I when I start to break that I will actually have a kombucha because it's very satisfying to my gut so just so you know um, and then of course it's anti-cancer so here's my tips all right um, my first tip is a warning actually <laughs> when you start drinking kombucha you're gonna get addicted <laughs> you're gonna want it every single day you're gonna you're gonna sit there and think you're not gonna think about wanting your soda that's not even gonna cross your mind you're gonna think about man I'd like to have a kombucha <laughs> so it is addictive I promise you your body is addicted to feeling good and that's what happens when you drink a soda right now you get this little euphoric high um, you get this little euphoric high and that is actually um, because of the sugar rush that you're getting kombucha Kombucha does it in a different way where you get a euphoric high because your body is going, oh, thank you so much for giving me something so delicious and amazing. You love me. You're taking care of me. It appreciates. So you get this little high. Um, yeah, so you don't want to go downtown and drink like four of these a day, Roz. You're going to have the poops. <laughs> you're going to visit the toilet a lot. And you should not do that with any fermented foods, okay? Unless you're trying to cleanse your system, uh, which I don't recommend that you do with kombucha. But, uh, but yeah, you're going to have the poops if you're drinking three or four of these a day until you get used to it. You need to go about one a day uh, until your body actually gets used to it. There will be no side effects from one a day, except maybe you'll be more regular to go to the bathroom. So... If you have, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I shouldn't do it if I have diarrhea already. No, you absolutely should do it if you have diarrhea already because, because you have something negative in your stomach that is trying to push out and go away. It wants to leave your body and that's why, the, and so the food's moving too quickly through your system and that's why you get the diarrhea. This will actually help that process and prevent it from happening and actually heal those symptoms if you're having them. One a day or some sort of fermented food every single day. So here's another tip. The temptation is when you get a bottle of kombucha because it has stuff in the body in the bottom of it. Oh, they're they're not sweet. <laughs> they're not sweet. They're very there's nothing really sweet about a kombucha. It has a flavor, but it's not a sweet flavor, so you don't need to worry about that. If you like beer or wine, this is your drink. <laughs> if you like the way wine tastes, this is why I call it the new wine, uh, you're going to be in business. So yeah, not sweet at all. You're going to be in business with kombucha. So a lot of people new to kombucha, they buy it and they see this in the bottom, see that in the bottom, and they think, oh, I'm going to give it a good shake to get it all, you know, scrambled up and ready. Don't do that. <laughs> Because you know what happens if you do that? It's like shaking a can of Coke. When you open it, it's gonna go everywhere. <laughs> so
so don't do that. So my suggestion is, is to give it a little bit of a twirl, okay? Open it, give it a little bit of a twirl, drink about two thirds down, and as you start getting to the bottom of it, then it becomes almost like a shot at that point. So you just swirl it, swirl it, keep swirling it, swirl it, swirl it, swirl it, and then you drink it. That is the best method that I have found to drinking kombucha, especially if you have a sensitivity. I have a texture sensitivity. I'm not kidding, I really do. There's some foods I can't eat because of the kombucha. I mean, because of the kombucha, because of my texture sensitivity. So like there are, there are kombuchas with chia seeds in them. See those little chias in there? I haven't been able to drink one of these, a full one yet. Um, I'm working my way up, and it's because it's a texture thing. A lot of people love them, but I, I haven't been able to do it. But So if you're sensitive to texture, take that last third of the bottle like you would almost a shot. So just take a shot of kombucha at the end. Um, so that's another one of my tips. My other one is find flavors that appeal to you, okay? So if you know you hate oranges, don't buy orange kombucha. Go right ahead, get what you need, we're fine. <laughs> yep, you're not gonna interrupt me at all. Um, don't get orange kombucha. If you don't like ginger, don't get ginger kombucha. It's so simple to think about those principles. Um, if you like citrus, if you like berry, um, they have all kinds of flavors. If you like cranberry, if you like mango, if you like coconut, buy those flavors that you like to start with. You can experiment after you have had a few kombuchas, but start with flavors that you like. I think people make mistakes thinking that if I go healthy, then I'm missing out. And it is a fallacy, it is not true. The truth is, is that when you go healthy, you're not missing out on anything because you, yeah, they have strawberry, it's so good. Um, hold on, I'll find it for you. It's right here. Yeah, strawberry serenity. It's yummy. Um, so, <laughs> people think that they're missing out what I tell them is to stop thinking about what you think you're missing out on and think about all the great things that you're doing for your body. Think about all the great foods that you get to eat and stop obsessing about the things that you can't eat. Forget about those things. Forget about the french fries. Forget about the potato chips. Forget about the beer. Forget about the wine. Think about all the great things that are available for you to eat. This planet provides us with amazing things to eat and kombucha, although we make it ourselves, is one of those things. So. Bye, Roz. See you later. I'll try to catch your scope later. I know, right? Preach. <laughs> kind of got on a soapbox there, didn't I? <laughs> so you're fine. Get what you need. If I need to move out of the way, let me know. Um, yep. Yeah, nope. See, we have a kombucha lover right here. <laughs> you must have a favorite. Is that your favorite? <laughs> I don't think that I've ever had it. Oh, it's fantastic. It's cranberry. Yes. No. Can I show you? Is that okay? Yes. <laughs> Look here. She's, she's got like six of these. <laughs> it's cranberry flavored. This is, I'm doing a live broadcast. I have an audience that watches me every day, uh, lunch with Leslie. And um, yeah, they've been so nice to let me do my kombucha story right here in front of the case. So yeah. <laughs> there you go. So there you go. Kombucha lover right there. Um, and a cranberry flavor, of course. So the other thing about it is that drink it all the way to the bottom. A lot of people get to the bottom and get, you know, timid about it. They're like, oh, I gotta drink that. Just shoot it, drink it all the way to the bottom. That's where the probiotics are. As you're swishing around, it's going to mix with the drink. Okay, so just swish it around and then just shoot the bottom of it. Um, it needs to be refrigerated. It, it has to stay refrigerated until you're ready to eat it. This is not a shopping drink. You don't leave this in your car like you do a bottle of water and come back and drink it after it's been sitting in the car hot. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that. You will get sick. Um, this is something, think of it like a dairy product, which it's not, but think of it that way in the way that it needs to stay refrigerated and, and you need to drink it and not leave it somewhere hot. So not a great thing to travel with, not a great thing to, um, this is something that you're going to want to drink at home. So basically keep it refrigerated. Um, let's see. I said that. Start slowly. If you, when you start drinking kombucha, and I'm convinced, hey, welcome, um, I am convinced that you're gonna start drinking kombucha. When you start drinking kombucha, go slowly. Don't go downtown drinking three bottles of this a day. It will give you the poops. You will be on the toilet a lot, so don't do that. Start slowly, and start slowly during the week. One kombucha a week, two kombuchas a week, three kombuchas a week, and then finally seven kombuchas a week, you know, throughout the week, of course. 
I don't teach how to, I am going to actually find somebody that will teach me how to make kombucha so that I can bring it to you guys. But no, I don't do that. I'm sorry to say. I buy bottle. I'm not advanced enough in my fermenting practices to try kombucha yet. So, um, okay, so let's see, what else? Okay, so here's one of my favorite tips. <laughs> this is one of my absolute favorite tips. You know that if you watch my scopes that I am anti drinking alcohol beverages every single day. It is okay to consume an alcoholic beverage every once in a while, but drinking it every set, every single day, beer, wine, alcohol, it is not good for you. And I don't care what any doctor says. <laughs> okay, there we go. I don't care what any doctor says. Trish has invited me to her house to make kombucha. Maybe we can do a blab on it, Trish, and uh, and we can, we can, we can do a blab and you can show us how to make kombucha. Um, okay, so back to my speech here. This is my speech for this scope. <laughs> if you're drinking alcoholic beverages every single day, I encourage you to quit. I know I'm gonna lose some viewers over this. I know you're gonna think, oh, that silly health fanatic girl, but I'm telling you, you're not doing your body or your mind any favors whatsoever. If you suffer from a depression, anxiety, if you, just, if you suffer from anything, if you have a, um, I don't care, whatever disease you have and you're drinking alcohol every single day for some relief or for some idea that it's good for you, like you're drinking a glass of red wine, BS, it is not. Stop doing it. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say today. I'll say more later, but that's all I'm going to say today. Stop doing it. It is not good for your health. It is not good for you. The antioxidants that you get in wine, you can get in a ton of different foods. You do not need to be drinking wine. It is a bad excuse and you need to stop doing it. So. I said all that to say, in your wine glass, in your beer glass, in your cocktail glass, guess what I'm gonna suggest? Kombucha. <laughs> and the reason is, look at this. This is called Rosebud. You see how clear that is? It is super clear. I have not had it. it I have told, I've been told that it has an amazing soft flavor. But in, if you like white wine, find yourself a white kombucha. Put it in your wine glass and supplement. Supplement your body with something good instead of something bad. It will fake you out. Now you're not gonna get the alcoholic euphoria that you get from drinking, but if you drink every single day, you probably don't get that anyway. This is so much better for your body. This is three bucks. You probably can get two wine glasses out of this uh, compared to a bottle of wine. This is actually gonna do your body some good. If you like to drink a beer every single day, I have a bottle for you of that. Which one did I like? This one. What does this look like? It looks like a beer bottle. <laughs> So you're psyching your brain out, you're getting rid of your nasty habits and taking on a good habit because what? Your brain's going, oh, well, it looks like a beer bottle and it kind of tastes like a beer bottle, so it must be beer, but it's good for you. So break your habits, start now, break your habits, go find a health food store, find yourself some kombucha. I say go find a natural grocers in your area if you have one and, um, and buy yourself some kombucha and get off of your nasty habits of drinking beer and wine because you're not doing yourselves any favors. I don't care why you're drinking it. I don't care what you think you're doing for yourself. You're not doing anything for yourself except harming yourself. An occasional cocktail, an occasional glass of champagne, an occasional glass of wine is fine, but make it occasional. Do not make it a daily habit. So, okay. So there's my soapbox. There's my tips. There's my tricks. There's all about kombucha. Here we'll pan around. Look at all the different types and flavors. There's all different kinds here. There you go. Anybody have any questions? Can I answer any questions for you? I'm almost spot on time today. I would love to answer any questions. You guys got really quiet. I hope I still have a signal. Somebody give me some hearts to make sure I have signal. Ah, thank you. <laughs> okay, good. Anyone? I, I know there was a lot of questions that flew by while I was talking and I didn't get to answer them and I would love to answer them if they've not been answered already by some of the people here. What is my fave? Ah, oh, very good. Okay. I was hoping somebody would ask that. So I have to tell you that I like the mango flavors and one of my absolute favorites is this. This is called Mystic Mango. It is by uh, Synergy. And this is one of my favorites. <laughs> it is so yummy. Uh, yeah, I just say drink the bottle. If you don't like it, just, it's, a, it's this big, just drink it. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> so, 
Yes, so Mystic Mango is absolutely one of my favorites. That's probably my very, very favorite. Um, the other one that I really like is, where is it here? I really like this brand. This one actually has, uh, it's orange raspberry and it is, this is really good, made by Cliff House. Um, I think this is locally. Yeah, this is Jamestown, Colorado. You may not be able to find this where you're at, but um, the, one of the reasons I like this is that this is the one that when people are at my house, <laughs> I have some dark colored wine glasses and I serve this in there and they're like, what are we drinking? This is so good. And I'm like, yeah, I know, <laughs> you're drinking kombucha. <laughs> so, so if you come to my house, be careful because I'm sneaky that way. <laughs> So yes, so this is one that I like to serve people right out because um, because it's so good. I have not had the Rosebud, but I have been told, this is made by a company called Upstart Kombucha. I have been told that it is absolutely amazing as well. But the most readily available ones that you're gonna find maybe in your grocery store is going to be the Synergy brand, which I showed you earlier. Uh, is the Synergy brand. This is an original brew. This is what organic raw kombucha looks like uh, when you ferment it yourself. Okay, so I really like the Synergy brew. I mean, that's that's the one that you're probably going to find. It's actually it's actually GT's brand, and the it's called Synergy. Um, and the other one that you're going to find that is readily available is the Cavita or Cavetta, Cavita, I believe. Um, you're going to find this one. This is readily available. This brand is not going to have so much of the stuff on the bottom. This is a good starter brand. <laughs> this is a brand that if you're new to kombucha or probiotic drinks at all, um, then this is this is a great brand. And my favorite out of that, this particular brand is the Mango Coconut. And, uh, and this is like absolutely one of my favorites. So, yeah. Um, so kombucha is, well, let's see here anywhere from $2.19 to I'm trying to find there's a $2.99 um, I have to tell you they've come down in price they used to be like almost three and four bucks so they've come down in price as they get more popular yeah as they get more popular they'll actually start coming down in price more so they're between two and three dollars a piece yeah so in a week you got 14 bucks which you're gonna spend on a bottle of wine or a couple of six packs of beer. <laughs> or West, I'm actually West. <laughs> I'm in Colorado. <laughs> yeah, really $4. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's just for me here. So, but yeah, they're two to $3 just about anywhere that I buy them. You can buy them at Whole Foods. You can get them like uh, Kroger, which is King Super here in Fort Collins. They have a great variety. They're getting more and more, especially of the GT brand. Um, they're getting more and more and the Cavetta is actually becoming very popular as well. Yeah, you can find fermented root beer, absolutely. Yeah, there's all kinds of fermented drinks. I would stick with the kombucha personally, but yeah, you can do that. So, for sure. Any more questions? I don't want to go over my, I don't want to abuse my privileges here, so. All right, so I am at Natural Grocers in Fort Collins, Colorado. I want to give them a huge shout out. You need to, if you, if you think you have one by you, go shop them. And here's the reasons why I would go shop them. Number one, the customer service is amazing. If you don't know what you're doing, go to a natural grocer's because they will help you through the process. Number two, all of their produce is organic. So when you come here to shop, you don't have to worry about is this organic, is that organic? Hey, you're welcome. Yeah, thanks natural grocer's for sure. You don't have to worry about is this organic, is that organic? It's a great place to shop for, for fruits and vegetables, for your produce, for sure, for sure. The meat, super high quality. The dairy, super high quality. You really can't go wrong. If you have questions about a supplement, I had I've, when I started my journey this is where I started and uh, the the women that work here in this natural grocers and the supplement aisles are amazing they have taught me so much over the past couple of years it's been unbelievable so natural grocers is amazing 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 for that and they have huge selections if you want the best selections of things like this I highly highly recommend that you guys visit natural grocers and I thank them so much so here's another commercial for natural grocers and I should have said this at the beginning, but on um, next Tuesday, 
at the Natural Grocers in Longmont, Colorado. If you're anywhere in the area, I'm actually teaching a live class there, and it is called, it's for women, I'm sorry boys, but it's for women, and it is called The Girls' Night Out, and we are gonna be talking all things boobs. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about our boobs and about breast health and uh, breast cancer and issues that women are having and facing today. So, yes, and my website is gotokitchens.com. Evan, just thank you, Evan. I uh, just put it up there for me. Gotokitchens.com. You can go there and find all kinds of recipes. You can find ways to be healthy, and it's not in your face healthy. It is. Uh, it's an easy way to start a journey on a health, and that's what it's designed for. If you are just beginning, uh, or even if you're advanced, it's a great great way uh, to find recipes. There's how-to videos. All of my recipes have how-to videos there so you can watch the video um, and learn how to do all kinds of great recipes. So <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. You guys have been a great audience. I appreciate it so much. I hope you have an amazing afternoon. I will be here tomorrow. I'm cooking live on TV, uh, or on Periscope, excuse me. I'm cooking live. I'm making cabbage on the grill, steamed cabbage on the grill with a miso uh, that I bought right here at this natural grocer. So you guys catch me tomorrow noon, lunch with Leslie's. Go to kitchens.com, go become a VIP, and I'll see you tomorrow, maybe this afternoon. You never know when I'm going to show up. All right, you guys have a good day. Bye. Love you.